I have here an email from a reader. Dear Doug, you're an asshole. Yada, 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 I hate you. Yada, 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 shove that Nissan Cube up your butt. Yada, yada, yada. Oh, here we go. How much horsepower does your Ferrari have? Well, dear reader, that's a good question. I'm gonna find out. To find out, I have decided to take the car to a dyno. Now, I don't know what the hell that is or how it works, but I am told that it measures power. Let's roll it about 10 miles an hour or so. Does it have traction control? It does. Turn that off. but I'm not even moving. Now I'm going 30, 40, 60, 80. Oh my God, I'm going 100 miles an hour standing still behind a Buick Roadmaster. First run is done. 335.9 horsepower. to 333.9 horsepower, so we're going backwards. So we let the car rest, and we placed a huge fan in front of it to cool it down. And then... final numbers. Wheel horsepower, 337. And for those of you interested in torque, this probably isn't the car for you. Now, you might look at 337 and think that that's pretty bad, but when you factor in about a 15% drivetrain loss, you're looking at 390 brake horsepower. And that's pretty good considering the car was originally rated at 400 horsepower 10 years ago. In other words, it's lost 10 horsepower in 10 years. Now, it's even better when you consider the car is Italian, which means who knows how many horsepower it actually left the factory with. Could have been 350, could have been 800. Nobody knows. Either way, I'm proud of it. And I hope that answers your question, dear reader. <laughs>